Number 17, Judah Matthews has a question. What is the significance of the Bible saying two or three witnesses to establish an accusation as opposed to saying two witnesses or three witnesses? Um, I think that, uh, I think that perhaps the, the implication is that it's, it's flexible. So depending on the quality of the witnesses, you might want two, you might want three. That's why it's like two or three. Um, because it's, it's trying to, it's sort of trying to generalize the rule and not make it exactly two, exactly three. It's meant to be a general thing that's applied with wisdom. Uh, I think this has the case is the case with a lot of the, um, a lot of the laws. I also think that witnesses could be evidence itself. Like the Bible does talk and you, you, some may think I'm going off a little bit too flexible here and that's fair. Maybe, you, maybe I am. I, I think this is safe to say though. The Bible talks about how like, um, the, the, these rocks stand as witness to us or the, the rocks will cry out that kind of thing that there's that human witnesses aren't the only things that can be brought as witnesses. So perhaps there is a, a woman who says he, he violated me in this way. And then she goes, see, I have the marks on my body. And I'm like, okay, well that's more than one witness, isn't it? Right. Because I have physical marks that are a witness that at least that she was harmed. And then I have her claim that it was him that did it. And then maybe I bring in something else. Someone goes, yeah, I saw them arguing earlier. Oh, okay. Well, this is starting to look like two or three witnesses to me. And so, um, <clears throat> DNA evidence could be a witness that you could bring even today, right? DNA evidence is a witness. It's like the DNA says, ah, I'm witnessing this, this person was touching such and such thing or was at such and such location. So I think we should consider it like that. It, it's just meant, you know, to be a little bit flexible.